Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Finally, I get a chance to do my taxes and I don't have to worry about a tax penalty for not having health insurance ever again. What's that? Did he what? Uh. All right, let's go over this one more time. Hi, I'm Michael and this is California. And yeah, that's right. We all thought it was gone, but the tax penalty for not having health insurance for or the individual share responsibility penalty is back. And those of us living in the great state of California, we kind of sort of are just going to have to get used to it. So let's do a quick recap of healthcare reform here in the US. So back in 2010, the then President Obama passed the Patent Protection and Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. And really, love it or hate it, it was a major step in changing the way that we as Americans use our healthcare. It imposed a lot of changes to the system, but the most recognizable changes were one, it got rid of the ability for health insurance companies to decline individuals based on their previous health conditions, or pre-existing conditions. And two, it established exchanges like healthcare.gov or Covered California here in California to help pay for the new health insurance plans. And three, it imposed a penalty on all legal residents who didn't have health insurance for a majority of the year. And these three giant changes, they were really meant to get more Americans access to health coverage. And they did it by removing some of the traditional barriers that prevented people from actually getting their health insurance coverage. So for example, it gave individuals who normally couldn't get health insurance because of their health conditions like heart disease or diabetes or any number of health issues an opportunity to get coverage. It also helped folks who normally couldn't afford their health coverage. And it did this by providing subsidies for the new health insurance plans. And three, most noticeably, was a tax penalty. And the tax penalty was to encourage people who normally didn't get coverage or those young or unhealthy people to enroll into their plans or face a tax penalty. Inclusion of these never utilizers was an integral part of the healthcare reform because the never utilizers, never utilizing their healthcare, but still paying into it, ultimately is what was gonna bring down the overall cost. And these changes, they worked. Well, sorta. Of. From 2014, when the law was implemented, up to the end of 2018, the U.S. saw record low on insurance rates, and hospitals saw much lower unpaid bills, and health insurance companies started to see substantial profits. But turns out many, 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 many people really didn't like one part of the law, and that's the tax penalty. And I guess it's not really hard to imagine why. Nobody wants to be forced to eat their vegetables or face a tax penalty. Can you imagine if you were a kid and your mom taxed you 2.5% of your allowance if you didn't eat your green beans? That would take a sizable cut out of your piggy bank. But kind of a good idea though. I can say the individual mandate on healthcare where you had to pay not to have insurance. Okay, think of that one. You pay not to have insurance. The individual mandate has been repealed. Under the pretense of the tax law change in 2019, the now President Trump was able to eliminate the ACA tax penalty. Well, he didn't actually get rid of it, he simply changed it to zero. But all the same, for 2019, the mandate requiring all people to have health insurance was still in place, but the tax penalty had been effectively eliminated. And the nation rejoiced. But as a consequence of the minimalizing the tax penalty, a sizable amount of people simply canceled or didn't renew their health insurance plans. For example, here in California, we saw a 24% drop in enrollment. That's literally hundreds of thousands of people. Also, a lot of improving health statistics, for example, unpaid medical bills, lower uninsured rates, overall healthcare usage, all started to revert back to their pre-ACA rates, which were really high hospitals started to see more unpaid medical bills because patients didn't have insurance when they had an emergency. Overall, healthcare usage began to drop because people are less likely to go see a doctor if they are responsible 100% for the cost of their own care. And the total national uninsurance rates began to increase dramatically. So this brings us to today, 2020, the future. Well, actually, it's right now. In some states, namely California, seeing the nearly one quarter backslide caused by the removal of the tax penalty, decided to do something about it. 
and that something was to bring back the tax penalty. Yeah, yeah, I know. But even though there was other measures that California could have done to counteract the removal of the penalty, they decided to revert back to the penalty. And they did it. They actually did it. They brought back the penalty for all Californians who don't have health insurance for the full year of 2020. That's this year. They didn't even make any changes to it. The penalty still ranges from $695 minimum up to 2.5% of household income. So when we, Californians, file our taxes in April of 2021, and even if we don't have health insurance from either work or school or covered California or really anywhere else, we're gonna get slapped with a fine of up to 2.5% of our household income. But this time, instead of the IRS, it'll be imposed by the FTB, or the Franchise Tax Board. Now it's important to understand that in order to avoid the penalty, people have to get health insurance in 2020. Like right now, like right now, right now. And there are still ways to get enrolled and avoid the penalty even now after the end of the open enrollment period has closed. And we'll go over the ways of avoiding the penalty and getting enrolled in another video. But for the time being, it's important to see that despite some people's best efforts to sabotage the ACA, there are still some states, like California, who are trying to ensure that the healthcare system stays strong and operable. And no, it's definitely not perfect. And maybe there are better ways to get more people enrolled than a tax penalty. But surely one way to not help get more people enrolled is to attempt to undermine or destroy our current healthcare system. So now more than ever, if we want to ensure our healthcare system is strong and working, it's important to get enrolled into health coverage. And even as unsavory as it is, California has decided that the best way to get the remaining uninsured people enrolled is through a tax penalty. And really, we're just going to have to wait and see if maybe they're right. So, that's it for today, and if you live in California and you haven't gotten any health insurance yet, or maybe you're unsure about what your options are, or maybe you just need a little help trying to figure out which plan is best for you, please feel free to reach out to us here at California. We'll be happy to post some future videos to help you with some of those questions that you have. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get updates about when our most recent informative videos become available. So for California, this is Michael wishing you a happy, healthy, tax penalty-free day.